No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hey, this is Charles from No Film School. I'm here at the Boris FX booth at NEB Show 2018 with Brian, who just ran into this. Hey, Brian, how's it going? Good, good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. There by. we go. So, tell me about what's uh, shaking. What's the new stuff with Sapphire? Sure. So, so with Sapphire 11, we released integrated mocha tracking, which is super exciting. Literally, number one feature request from artists and editors all across the world is please, please. Please put tracking in Sapphire. Let us keyframe less. Um, now, we've never done this in the past because, to be honest with you, tracking is really difficult, right? So when Boris FX acquired GenArts about a year ago, we literally hugged with, like, thank God we don't have to create a tracker because we knew Boris had also acquired Mocha, right? So Mocha's world's best tracker, won an Academy Award for its side tech, and so we integrated um, Mocha tracking into every single Sapphire effect, which is super exciting. So what does that mean? It means keyframe less. It means you can now basically isolate any Sapphire effect to any area of the image you want and just track that beautifully. So it's really been a game changer for us, and we're getting a huge response from editors on ours right now. We're really loving the new feature. And when did this come out? Um, I think we released Sapphire in November. Like, gotcha. So really right now it's just actually starting to actually catch, you know, basically ground with editors and artists. So that's what we're super excited about. And what's the price point on Sapphire? So Sapphire has a whole bunch of different price options. It's $15.95 for the full suite. You can also um, sign up for a 12-month subscription for $4.95 per year. And you can buy individual boxes as well. So if you're only into the lighting units, if you're only really interested in blurs, you can purchase those effects as well. Um, and those are all individually priced. They go from $1.95 all the way up to so can you show off a little bit of how it works with the tracking with yeah, Sapphire? Sure. So let me just go ahead and grab an effect here. Let's see what we have. Fun stuff. I am going to throw on one of my favorite effects, which is our edge detect. Let me just reset and start from scratch. Um, so you'll find here now there's an edit mocha bucket within every single effect. So if I go ahead and edit mocha, we launch a little version of Mocha, and now what you're seeing here is actually a super secret new UI for Mocha that's gonna be released later this summer. It's uh, If you're familiar with Mocha, Mocha's a very deep interface. This is just a new view with a lot of new cool tools in it. Um, you can create some preset shapes, um, and you'll see like this tracking button used to kind of be hidden down by here. We've put things right up in the center now, so things are really easy. I wanna just isolate this effect to her eye. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab her eye. We can do some really fun stuff with Mocha. Let's get a nice circle here. And then go ahead and track forward. Um, you'll see Mocha is a planar tracker. It is not a point tracker. It's actually looking at this texture. And um, you'll see it just does a great job. Like, I mean, the catchphrase Mocha is, it just works. Um, it's just because it does. It's, it's kind of one of those applications you very quickly fall in love with. Um, so now if I'm happy with my track here, um, all you have to do is save and quit. And you'll see I've isolated that effect right to her eye. And then within each Sapphire effect, we'll put some custom parameters in. So now if you want to soften that effect, you can go ahead and soften it right in. And, and we can track that right to her eye. We can also invert as well if we want to get a different funky effect. Um, and we can get at that mask as well. We're, that's If we want to use this to drive other effects, um, you know, to link it to other layers, we have access to that mask as well. So yeah, I mean, I kind of went nuts with her here and threw a whole bunch on. Um, all without keyframing. So pretty cool. So, like that Joker-style lipstick effect on the yeah. cheeks is completely created in post-production. Yep, I can turn that on and off. Um, we can actually build it from scratch here. Um, all just color grading effects, sapphire effects, and lens flares. So I did the eye effect. I then colored her face a little blue to kind of put some makeup on there, some digital makeup. Um, I did another color grading. Um, I color graded her hair a different color. I put a little vignette on it to kind of draw your eye to the center. I put a lens flare up in the corner, and then I tracked a lens flare to her eye to give her a, a kind of crazy look. This is what happens when I have too much time on my hands.
Well, we, we should have you doing more demos and not anything else. All right, so Sapphire 11 already out. The yep. new Mocha interface going to be rolling out sometime this year? Yep, sometime later this summer. Gotcha, to make Mocha a little bit easier to use, a little more intuitive. Yep. Now that it's showing up in so many products, people are going to be able to get their hands wet with Mocha a little bit faster. Yep, yep, and some cool stuff coming down the pipeline with Mocha. But now that it's a company feature, kind of whatever they do ripples into all products. So that's pretty cool. Awesome, that's very cool. Brian, thank you so much for taking the so time. Much. I really appreciate it. appreciate it. So this has been Charles Hayden for No Film School here with Brian from Boris FX looking at the new ways Sapphire is using Mocha tracking to drive even cooler plugins in post. For No Film School, this has been Charles Hayden at NAB Show 2018.